So I'm gonna be doing a series on how to ride a motorcycle for beginners and I'm gonna pretty much take you through the entire process from you know deciding on whether motorcycling is for you first of all then how to choose the right motorcycle for yourself how to actually go about buying one and then the actual the meat of the whole thing how to actually ride the thing um, whatever motorcycle you so choose whether it be sport bike standard bike or whatever it is how to ride it and stay alive and you know have a great time and enjoy this awesome uh, sport that we so much love all of us motorcyclists all around the world time but I just wanted to give you guys a little taste for you know what's coming up right here the passenger foot pegs one on this side one on that side slides up when you're not using it you can keep it down if you want this can actually add this can actually give you added protection for the bike in the event that it tips over but that's never gonna happen right because you guys are gonna watch my video and you're never gonna ever tip your bike over but just in case you can leave those down to kind of help protect the bike here is your storage and this by the way is a, is a uh, ninja 250 highly recommended bike to start on very it's a fun bike looks great so here's your trunk space a lot of these bikes similar to this will come with some kind of a tool kit press down so I'm actually on the passenger pegs so now if you're riding this motorcycle you're gonna be sitting here of course and we're gonna go over the basic control so basically on the right hand side is speed control on the left side is your transmission or your gear control that's really the way to look at it your brake pedal that's a rear brake the rear brakes are really good for slow speeds and also helps to stabilize the bike in normal braking you want to use the, the rear and the front brakes but that's all it is you push down on it and there you're applying the rear brakes which are going to be not as powerful as the front brakes front brakes is where a majority of your stopping power is going to come from over here you have throttle control so this is your throttle you can actually twist this to go faster release it to go slower so imagine that's your gas pedal pretty much faster slower faster slower brake this is your front brakes Again, this is the majority of your stopping power is going to come from these. The proper way that you want to brake is with both brakes at the same time. So you're going to go front and rear, front and rear. On the left hand side, you have your gear changing. So you have your clutch lever. This is if you've driven a stick shift car, this will be like your clutch pedal. You squeeze that in to, to disconnect the engine from the wheels. And then when you do that, then you're going to be able to actually change gears. Right now we're neutral, so we can go down one to first gear and then we can go half a step up to neutral, another half a step up to second, then third, then fourth, then fifth. It's a sequential transmission, just like on those exotic cars or some of the new cars with the paddle shifters. So you can't really skip gears. You have to go in order, two, three, four, five. Now, you don't have to actually engage the gear, but you have to pass through the gear. Here's your gear shifter. So this is how you change gears, right? Now, and from neutral, again, half a step down, half a step up to go to, to neutral, I mean to, to neutral, yeah, and then you're going to go, if you're in first gear, you're going to go full up to second, then third, then fourth, then fifth, then sixth, depending on how many gears your motorcycle has, but that's all it is. You press up to go upper gear, down to go down a gear. By the way, get some good gloves. These are Phantom 2s, these are top end gloves. You don't have to get something as expensive, but whatever you do, get some good gloves. $60 gloves you'll find won't last that long most of them anyway uh, I would say at least $120 you should be spending to get good gloves all right so clutch lever we also have a choke control this is for starting a, a this carbureted bike you're starting it in cold conditions or it's been sitting for a while you just that's it you engage the choke these are your headlights high beams low beams high beams low beams signal left right left right to cancel it out you push it in push it in to cancel left turn cancel right turn cancel and here's your horn so horn signal signal right signal left cancel out high beam low beam high beam low beam and your choke and remember your clutch lever to disengage the engine from the wheels here is something that you want to get in custom of checking this basically this is your brake fluid in there you never want to come on your bike and see this the levels basically showing that there's no fluid in there that'd be very dangerous and very bad in an emergency or something you can actually flip that engine disengage so no matter what happens you know whatever's going on you want to cut the engine at any point in time there you go engines off 
this is your cutoff switch here right and here's how you actually start the bike you're going to push that to start the bike this is a normal speedometer oil light neutral light signal light and your high beam light this bike is nice to have a fuel gauge some bikes do not so you'll have to actually check inside the tank and we'll take a look at that right now here's the tank there's your gas tank right here holds about probably three gallons of gas and there's your tank so if you don't have a fuel gauge you want to actually go and look in there and see you can shake up the bike listen to the sound of the fuel so i'm hearing some good waves going on in there so i know i got enough fuel and let's actually go and start the bike up so and that's it